Recently, I released a song with Xavier Omer called Bon Iver, and I played guitar all throughout the song. It's a... Uh, to teach the outro to the song the the last part of the song this part right here so I got that chord progression from Justin Gray he's a guitar player uh, there's this video of him playing Amazing Grace on YouTube it's really really old it's from a long time ago I used to watch this video a lot, uh, aspiring to play like that. Um, yeah, the video is called Justin Gray Plays His Version of Amazing Grace. And like 30 seconds to a minute into the video, he plays something like... But he's turned around. Like the video is shot from, it, it's like he's on a stage, but the video is shot from uh, the side or like kind of the, the back. So you can't see his fingers, but this is essentially what he was playing in the video. So I took that line and used it in the Bon Iver song with Xavier Omar. So the way I'm playing it is probably different than the way Justin Gray was playing it. But, um... The comments are disappearing too fast. I'm not reading them soon enough on here. So this first chord... is a C sharp minor seven. Well, actually, it's not even really a C sharp minor seven. It's just a C sharp minor. I'm not actually playing the seven. I'm playing the root, the fifth, and then the third. Yeah. And then next is I was thinking of this as like um like a Could I call it like a, like a B, 
six, I guess. I guess. Like, I, I never even really called it anything, I guess. Ugh. There's, like, pieces of dust falling from the fan. And it, like, scared me. I thought it was, like, an apparition or something, but it's just pieces of dust. But, I mean... Yeah, I guess this is like a, a B6, because you have like the root, the 6, and then that's, I guess, the major 3rd, right? And then the perfect 5th. But um, he's not actually playing the B string note. He's playing the low E string, D string, and then the G string. Of course, I had to throw, you know, my sauce on it, which is, so it's, da -da 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 -da. I guess I could use some chapstick, but I'm playing it uh, in just one pick stroke, so, like, instead of, it's, yeah. I'm gonna um, put some put some chapstick on my lips. Well, it's actually um, it's actually shea butter, but like you know, I'm using it as chapstick though. So yeah, so um, it's like just one pick the first note is picked and then the rest of it is hammer-ons and pull-offs so it's uh it's uh That's what I'm doing. It's between my index and pinky finger. But I'm doing it with the chord, so it's... Uh... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I'm doing that in Bon Iver. That's something that I do, like that little embellishment, but I don't think I'm doing that in Bon Iver. I think I'm actually just doing without the yeah, so never mind. Take take that back. Rewind. Pretend like I never said that. But you can place that elsewhere though. Even if you don't use it there. Then uh, next is Tree Marie. I used to have a friend in high school named Trina Marie. Um. Is this I mean it's like an A major 7 basically yeah but instead of playing it like this like how you usually see it I'm actually playing it without the middle finger note without the B string note so where my index finger is I'm just putting my middle finger there instead so that way my index finger is free So I'm putting it on the 4th fret, that way I can get the hammer on, the ring finger hammer on. Uh, I guess I used a little too much shea butter there. You 
feel where I'm coming from? And then, I mean, what would this be? It's basically like a, I guess like a G sharp minor seven, um, pretty much. But I'm putting my index finger on the second fret. That way I can hammer on the ring finger note. Oh, I'm not even really doing any hammer-ons in, in that part of the song. I'm actually just playing the chords, like... So after the G-sharp minor 7, then you'll play an F-sharp minor 7, which is the same shape slid down two frets. And then the ring finger note, I'm replacing that with first fret of the D string, so it's... But the Justin Gray version, he's more so... He is doing like the, the hammer-ons and pull-offs, I think. I haven't really heard it in a while, but it's like... Or... Or maybe I've just taken it and added I guess the hammer-ons and pull-offs just come from me adding my own like feel to it I guess I'll have to listen to his version I haven't heard it in a while and then it ends on an E major 7 so like this but instead of with the middle finger on the B string, I'm just moving my middle finger to where my index finger is. So instead of index, it's middle. So then. So I guess it's. Uh, I guess I'm playing it in like triplets, I guess, like triplet, 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 triplet. I guess you could count it like that. So it's, um, it's not an E7, it's an E major 7. An E7 would be this. So an, a dominant E7 has a major third and a minor seven, whereas a major seven has, uh, now I'm speaking gibberish. A dominant E7 chord has a major third and a minor seven interval. That's what makes it dominant. Uh, my thumbnail is so short. And then, um, cause it snapped off the other day, but it's okay. I'll scroll back. I just hate having like really short thumbnails. But anyways, um, a major seven chord has a major third and a major seven interval. It's easier to understand when it's like written out on paper or if there's like a visual representation. Oh, uh, I guess I could, I could draw a picture. Um, oh, here goes some printer paper. Okay. So, I'm actually a right-handed guitar player, but I, um, I write left-handed.
So, major seven chord, the intervals are, wait, is it backwards? Is it showing up backwards? Like, is it actually mirrored? Oh, okay. So, it's uh, one, three, five, seven. So it's like root, major third, perfect fifth, major seven, and then a dominant seven would be the same thing, but instead of a major seven, it's a flat seven. So. Yeah, so it's like a major seven, E major seven would be this. But then a dominant E7 would be. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, really I came on here because, uh, I don't know why I didn't mention it in the beginning. Um, but I wanted to, uh, tell you that I built a guitar website, a guitar lessons website. It's called www.melaniefay.com. But there's a hyphen in between Melanie and Faye. So it's actually www.melanie-fay.com. So you can go on there and um, you can book online lessons with me because I'll be here teaching I teach every day I've been teaching every day since we've been on lockdown I don't know why we're still on lockdown I don't think every country is I think it's just us just America um but yeah you can also buy my merch on there or buy my music on there um yeah can I like type that in here um oh yeah I'll put a link in the description but wait can I Oh, I don't think I can do that on here. Other people can comment, but I can't comment. Hmm. But yeah, I, I teach. And then also, you can uh, buy videos of past lessons that I've taught. Yeah. You can do that. I'm really proud of the website. I made it all myself using Squarespace. I really did that. Um, yeah, so. Melanie-Faye.com or Melanie-Faye.com. Melanie-Faye.com. Thank you. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for, that Squarespace sponsor. We need that. Run it up, Squarespace. <laughs> Alright, I'm out.